careful, Luis. I mean, if the Cranes find out that you're dating Sheridan, you could be in some real trouble. Look, Sheridan's different. She can handle her family. And tonight we'll prove that. Who is she? Huh? Hank. <clears throat> Come on, Luis, who is she? What are you talking about? Luis, I've known you for way too long. You cannot hide anything from me. Whenever you shave at this time of the day and you go over the same spot twice like you just did, that can only mean one thing. You've got a date. Now, who is it, Isabel? No. Hank. <sighs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. That takes all the fun out of it. Uh, let me see. Uh... <laughs> What's so funny? Well, if it's not Beth, it's not going to be easy to figure out who you've got a date with. But it is easy to figure out who you don't have a date with, and that's Sheridan, because you two hate each other. She's the last girl you'd ever go out with. What did you say, Father? Don't make me repeat this again, Sheridan. You were to have no further communication with Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. But... Father and I don't want you to have anything to do with Luis, Sheridan. It's really very simple. It's not that simple, Julian. I've already told you, and now I'm telling you, Father. Luis asked me out to dinner tonight, and I said yes. No, Sheridan. You aren't going anywhere with Luis. Teresa? Teresa! I don't know what happened. I was just talking to her. I, I asked her if she'd uh, help me pick out a ring for Gwen, and then she just fainted dead away. Teresa, honey, honey, wake up. Teresa? Teresa, wake up. I think we've intruded on Tabitha enough. Kay's right, we should go. Um, well, we'll stop by tomorrow, if that's all right. Oh, well, don't put yourself out, dears. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Reese. Uh, <laughs> it was you! I'm not crazy. It was you. I did see a fishtail. What are you babbling about? A fishtail? Oh. Wait till Miguel sees this. Hey, guys, come back. I'm not crazy. Uh, uh, Ross, uh, Reese, what? Jimmy, Jimmy, quick, help. Cover up this tail. Oh, before the kids come back, we're done for if they see it. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me place at. Of the one who could sing so sweet, and I would fly on the wings of a bird. I knew you'd take me high as breathe in, breathe out. Keep me alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life. Yeah, you and Sheridan. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Look, Hank, I really need to talk to you about something. Oh, you're gonna tell me who you're really going out with? Because if it isn't Beth, well then, hey, wait. Is it Sharon from the pool hall? She is hot. No, it's not Sharon. What, you didn't check the message I left on your machine? No, I haven't checked my messages lately. Well, uh... Look, there's just something we need to talk about. Well, what is it, buddy? You look like you've got some bad news. No, it's not bad news. It's just something I think you should know. It's about my date tonight. Okay, nice try, but I'm not buying it, okay? What? I can tell by the look on your face that you were going to try and yank my chain and tell me that you were going out with Sheridan tonight. <laughs> but I'm not buying it. All right? <laughs> you and Sheridan. <laughs> That'd be a joke. Why would that be a joke? Come on, Luis, all right? You and Sheridan? You two have been button heads ever since she came back to yeah, Harmony. Well, yeah, that's true. But things have changed. Maybe it just took a little time for us to get to know each other. Man, give it up, okay? I'm not buying it, all right? I mean, it would make for some interesting drama, though. If Sheridan's father, old man Alistair, found out you two were going out, he'd hit the roof. Why would Alistair Crane care if I was going out with Sheridan? Because I'm Hispanic. Look, hey, man, 
Just calm down, okay? I'm just saying that to the Cranes, anybody whose family hasn't been in this country at least 200 years is an illegal immigrant. Yeah. And that's why I would have the advantage over you if you were really interested in Sheridan. You know, us Bennett's used to be bigwigs around this area. We've actually been in harmony longer than the Cranes. Yeah. And the reason why the Bennett's aren't bigwigs anymore is because the Cranes took all their land and businesses. That's the Louise I know and love. That is the Louise. The Louise that hates the Cranes. And that's why I know that you would never go out with Sheridan. Because you've always hated the Cranes while I have always admired them from afar. <laughs> You're right. I have always hated the Cranes as a group. Yeah. But Sheridan is not like any of them. Look. Just stop it, Luis, okay? I know that you're not going out with Sheridan. <laughs> no way. No how. Okay. Why do either of you care if I go out to dinner with Luis tonight? What we're concerned about is the attention you could draw to the family if you were seen in public with Luis. I don't care what people say about me. That has become painfully obvious, Sheridan. The men you've dated in the past have been marginal at best. Who was the last one? The Frenchman? I admit Jean-Luc was a mistake. Yes, he was only out to use me. Yes, he was. Just like Luis is only out to use you. You realize that, don't you, Sheridan? What? Teresa. Teresa, honey. Teresa. Come on. Look now. up. Here she goes. You okay? Hi, Ethan. What happened? You fainted. Here, let me help you up. Are you okay? Easy, easy, easy. I think so. I'm just sit down. I'm a little dizzy. Here, I'll get you some orange juice. Okay. You alright? What happened? When Ethan asked me to to go with him to get an engagement ring for Gwen. I just couldn't believe it. I thought he would choose me over her. Teresa, it's time that you realize that Ethan does not love you. I'm sorry, but he loves Gwen. And now that he's getting that engagement ring for her, he's more serious than ever. I know, you're right. I have to stop thinking about him. I have to face reality. Right. Okay, so we're in agreement, right? You're gonna stay away from Ethan, and you're not gonna go with him to get that engagement ring, right? Right. Trust me, Teresa, it's for the best, okay? Here's your juice, Teresa. Thank you, Ethan. <clears throat> Teresa, you have to take care of yourself. You're important to me. Really? Of course you are, and to my whole family. You know, I think it's best that you go home and get some rest. Oh, you know what? That, that's a great idea. Come on, honey, let's go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thanks. Yeah. I, I really wanted you to help me pick out a ring for Gwen, but, you know, your health comes first. I guess I'll just have to do it on my own. You really wanted me to go with you? Oh, yeah, of course, Teresa. I mean, you have great taste, and, and you know, I trust your opinion, but if you're not feeling well, you know, Actually, you should go home. I I'm feeling much better. That juice really picked me up. I'll go with you. Wait! Guys, stop! Wait, I'm not crazy! What is it, Reese? We have to call the nightly, the nightly news, the, the newspapers. Everyone has to know. It, it's a scientific marvel. Calm down, Reese. What are you going on about? Okay, I was right. I did see Tabitha's head in a fishbowl, and there was a giant fishtail in her living room. But we didn't see it, Reese. Only you. That's because we were looking in the wrong place. It was right under our noses. Tabitha is the fish. <laughs> you must have hit your head really hard, Reese. Uh, Reese, <laughs> come on. How could Tabitha be the fish? Okay, so technically she's only half a fish. Half of a fish? You mean she's a mermaid? Yes, a mermaid. That's impossible. Come back to the house with me. I can prove it. You can see for yourselves. Get back to the book of incantations, Timmy, and find the proper spell that will get me back to my real self again before those blasted kids see me. Timmy, try and fail. Yes, 
But you must have left something out. Think, Timmy, think. Tabitha, we're back. Hide, hide. There she is. Tabitha, the mermaid. We're certain. Thought she was working here today. She got called home. Some family business. Listen, Hank. Uh, I'll just call her at home then. It's no big deal. I'm gonna ask her out to dinner tonight. <laughs> You're gonna ask Sheridan out to dinner tonight? Yeah. I thought I'd take our relationship to a new level, you know? Yeah. Turn on the old Bennett charm and she'll never know what hit her. Aren't you gonna wish me luck? Sure. I mean, no. No? Looks, um, something happened. I mean, I would, uh, you know, I would normally, but. You're not trying to make me believe that you're going out with Sheridan again, are you? I mean, come on, Luis, the joke is dead. Hank, it's not a joke. I'm going out with Sheridan tonight. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. Julian, could you please explain to Sheridan why we think Luis is using her? Of course, Father. You see, Sheridan, I knew something was wrong when I walked in on you and Luis. Kissing in the library. I'm not a fool, sister. I know you claim that the kiss was romantic, but I know you were just covering up why you were really in the library. And why was that? Obviously, you were searching for information concerning our family and Luis's father. You were being used by Luis against your own family, Sheridan. How could you let him do it, dear? I wasn't being used by Luis. Then what would you call it? Do you two want the truth? That would be nice. Yes, Luis asked me to help him find out if there was any connection between our family and his father's disappearance. You see, I knew it. You were just his pawn. I wasn't his pawn, Julian. I told Luis I wasn't going to be used, and he backed off. He even apologized. Well, then what were you doing with him? I wanted to help Luis. I offered to volunteer. Why? Because I wanted to prove to Luis that the Cranes were not involved with his father's disappearance. And I was right, wasn't I? There is no connection, right? Of course not. Well, then what was so wrong with me helping Luis realize that? Because you went against the family, against your own father. You, you disappoint me, Sheridan. I just wanted to show Luis that there was no reason for him to be suspicious of our family. I understand that, Sheridan, but you should have discussed it with me first. I only want what's best for you, dear. Don't you know I love you, Sheridan? You do, Daddy? Well, of course I do. And because I love you, I feel a need to protect you. Sheridan, when you were just a baby, your mother and I used to talk about our dreams for you. She loved you so much. And her greatest dream was for you to grow up and marry a man that would make you happy. I've watched as you've dated man after man that used you, treated you poorly, I don't want to see you start another relationship that's going to end badly. Now, please, because I love you, promise me that you won't go to dinner with Luis. What are you doing, Teresa? You told me you were going to stay away from Ethan. He said he needs me, Whitney. You cannot go with him to find Gwen's engagement ring, please. Didn't you see how worried he was about me? He must love me. He just hasn't realized it yet. Teresa, are you totally nuts? Ethan does not love you. He's getting that ring for Gwen, not you. But it's not on her finger yet, is it? But it will be soon, now won't it? <sighs> Whitney, ever since I was a little girl, I have dreamed about Ethan proposing to me, putting an incredible engagement ring on my finger. This is not a dream, Teresa. Don't go with Ethan. Just, just come home with me, okay? I have to go, Whitney. <sighs> all, all right, fine, go, fine. But I'm gonna go with you, because in case you faint again, I'll have to be there to catch you, right? 
You ready to go? Yes. Is it okay if Whitney comes along? Well, sure. For the girl I'm destined to marry, you both can help me pick out the ring she would want. I know exactly what she wants. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Me and Mermaid. Oh, you're, you're a very funny young man, Ross. <laughs> it's Reese, and I saw your tail. No! Oh, that is funny. But we all know there's no such thing as mermaids. Wouldn't it be something if there were? <gasps> I could go on the road, we'd all be rich. <laughs> but I saw it. <sighs> uh, I don't want to be a party pooper, but as I said, I'm, I'm a little tired, so thank you all for stopping by. Tim's gonna find... well, make tell to go back to normal. He's gotta find the fast. Tabitha's right, this is so silly. Mermaids don't exist. Come on, we should leave. Let her get some rest. <laughs> you, you know, Reese, maybe we should drop in on Dr. Russell. If you hit your head pretty hard, you're probably just seeing things. No, I know what I saw, and it has nothing to do with hitting my head. Tabitha is half fish, and I'm going to prove it to you all. Oh. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. You good boy. Hey. You need to see hey. it. The hey. world needs to... Ow! Ow! Hey. Ow. The world needs to know. Oh, leave me alone. Get away, you rude boy. Get away, you... Man, I can't believe you're going out with Sheridan tonight. You just told me earlier that you had no feelings for her. I know, Hank. I feel kind of bad about this, but... <sighs> Something happened. What the hell could have happened? <laughs> danced a tango. You danced a tango with Sheridan? Like the one you danced at your mother's birthday party? Yeah, just like that. What made you decide to dance a hot tango with my girl? All right, first of all, Sheridan is not your girl. You're not exclusive. I would have never asked her out if you were. You know that. Oh, really? What about when I was dating Wendy Johnson? You asked her out and I never had a chance with her after that. Oh, yeah? What about Mary Jean Kramer? You know, I wanted to take her to the junior prom, but you were all over her. Oh, yeah. But as I remember, I did you a favor. I mean, Mary Jean turned out to be a complete wacko. <laughs> yeah, thanks for finding that out, by the way. Okay, so we stole each other's girls a few times, okay? But I still don't understand why you're going out with Sheridan. I thought you hated the Cranes. Well, I do hate the Cranes as a group. So then why are you going out with her? Why the change? Have you fallen in love with her, man? <sighs> You really don't want me to go out to dinner with Louise, Daddy? It's that important to you? Yes, Sheridan. I don't want to see you hurt again. You know, nothing can come of this relationship, Sheridan. You know that. It's a lose-lose situation. You're going to hurt yourself and hurt him. The tabloids will have a field day. You know, Father and I were hoping that your return to Harmony would signal a new start, a rededication to the Crane family. Come on, Sharon. Be a crane. Rejoin the family. Yes. Yes, my darling. Listen to your brother and me, please. It would mean so much to me. All right. If it means that much to you, Daddy, then I won't go out with Louise. like them, huh? Oh, yeah. They're amazing. <laughs> Which of these two do you like, Teresa? That one. Whitney? Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just wish I could see it on Gwen's finger. You know, just to make sure it's perfect. 
Teresa, can I borrow your finger for a minute? What? Would you mind putting this ring on so I can see how it looks on your finger? and she's got a fish tail. I have nothing of the sort. Th then stand up and show us your legs. Uh, what if Jimmy forgetting? What if Jimmy needs to save his princess? <sighs> oh, what the hell? I can help Tabitha. <sighs> Yes, but it won't be easy. You'll have to bring me some things. What kind of things? Well, first of all, I'll need some of Tabitha's hair. The hair! Jimmy got the hair! But how else can we go and get a piece of Tabitha's hair now? So answer the question, Louise. Are you falling in love with Sheridan? Well, are you crazy, Hank? We're having dinner, that's all. Two people, a bottle of wine, and some lobster. The lobster and wine dinner on the first date? What's wrong with that? That dinner was always your coup de grace meal. Whenever you start dating, you always start out slow. You know, it's always a walk on the pier, and then maybe, uh, hey, you want to get some pizza? And then the second date, it's meatloaf at the diner, and then you keep upping the steaks until you decide the girl's ready, and then you pull out all the stops, and you take her to the lobster shack. I didn't realize you studied my dating history so closely. How about you admit what tonight is really all about? Really about? Yeah, you're planning to take Sheridan to bed tonight, aren't you? <laughs> You've made a wise decision, Sheridan. And spared yourself a horrible case of food poisoning to boot. I assume he was taking you to that local's hangout. What do they call it? Yes, the lobster shack. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Uh, well, we can start with the word shack. Just because Luis wasn't taking me to the country club doesn't mean we couldn't have had a nice dinner. Well, I can't for the life of me understand why you'd want to go to dinner with him anyway. The man gives new meaning to the word bore. Because Luis saved my life, Julian. Well, that doesn't mean you have to go out to dinner with him. Actually, it does. Ooh, well, but you just said... No, no. I've changed my mind. Sheridan, please, think about the family. No, Father, I don't think one date with Luis will bring down the entire Crane Empire. You are not going out with Luis. I forbid it. You forbid it? That's not what Julia yes, meant. Yes, it is. And I will damn well go out with whomever I please. Sheridan. It is just one date, Father. That's all. But I've made up my mind. I am going out with Luis tonight. Teresa, your hand's shaking. What's wrong? Um, she's just, uh, never had a ring on that that, that, that expensive before. That's right. all. <laughs> hey, there's no reason to be nervous. I mean, it's just a piece of carbon. Now, the real value in a ring is the love it symbolizes between a man and a woman. Do you know why the ring is put on the third finger of the left hand, Teresa? See, the ancients believed that this finger was connected to the heart. And the heart was the seat of all love in the body. So by putting this circle, which represents constant and everlasting love, on a woman's finger, it bound the man and woman together forever. So what do you think, Teresa? Teresa, before I met you, my life was empty. I didn't know true happiness. The love we share has changed my life. 
I can't live without you, Teresa. Teresa, what's your answer? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, Ethan. Yes. <laughs> well, I guess she likes it. <laughs> Teresa, you're crying. What's wrong? You need to blink it. Please. Listen, lady. I don't want to have to get rough. No, it's <laughs> that I'm not crazy. Tabitha has a fishtail. Okay. Now I know you are crazy. I am not planning on sleeping with Sheridan tonight, okay? Then why are you planning this major evening? Okay, Hank. Maybe you haven't noticed. But we're not in high school anymore. You know, a little walk down the pier and a slice of pizza just doesn't cut it anymore. Luis, I know you. Okay? You wouldn't drop this kind of coin on a girl unless you really cared about her. Yeah. Now, if I didn't at least like Sheridan, I wouldn't have asked her out. I admit that. But it's just two people going to a grown-up restaurant. Look, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to cancel a dinner? Because if this is going to screw up our friendship, then I... not screw anything up, okay? You're playing by the rules. Me and Sheridan aren't exclusive. <sighs> Okay, then. I don't know why I got myself so worked up. It's not like you're gonna be any kind of competition for Sheridan anyway. Whoa. Getting kind of confident all of a sudden, huh? What happened to, oh no, not the uh, wine and lobster dinner? You know, you and Sheridan might have gotten friendly, okay? But underneath it all, you're oil and water, my friend. And you can take Sheridan to dinner tonight, but in the end, she's gonna be mine. All mine. The matter is over. I'm going out to dinner with Luis tonight. Sheridan, I don't think this is a good idea. Maybe not, but at least it's my idea. Luis saved my life. He was there for me when I needed him. Haven't I always been there when you needed me? <laughs> you weren't there for me when I almost died in that car accident in Paris. You didn't even call the hospital. Sheridan, you know I was concerned, but I had other pressing matters. Oh, yes, I know all about those pressing matters. I've heard about them since I was a child. Sheridan, I'm warning you. Well, I have pressing matters of my own now. I am going out to dinner with Luis. End of discussion. She spoke to you like that, Father. It was your fault, Julian. We might... You know you can't forbid your sister to do something. She'll only want to do it even more. Still, she's never disobeyed you before. Well, now, thanks to you, she has. And now, also thanks to you, we have a major problem on our hands. Teresa, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Uh, uh, engagement rings sometimes do that to us <laughs> girls. <laughs> Even though we know for a fact that they're not for us. That happens all the time, Mr. Crane. Um, do you have some tissues or anything? Yes, right over here. Okay. Will you please be strong? That engagement ring is for Gwen, not you. Fate wants me to have this ring with me. It's a symbol of Ethan's love. Teresa, I, I think you convinced me. That's the ring I'm gonna get Gwen. I think she'll like it. Here, let me help you take it off. 
That's strange. Oh, it's stuck. Huh? Yeah. How odd. It certainly doesn't want to come off, does it? Okay, Reese. We're so sorry we bothered you, Tabitha. Don't worry, Kay. <laughs> Imagine me a mermaid. <laughs> what could have happened? I had a vision, Tabitha. I saw you as the mermaid, too. Um, Charity and Reese both need to go see a doctor to have their head examined to get these crazy ideas out of their heads. <laughs> uh, what we need to do is leave so Tabitha can rest. Okay. Let's go, guys. Well, don't be strangers. <laughs> Thank Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's reward is being told back to your old evil self. <laughs> and now it's time for a much deserved nap. <laughs> no time for naps, Jimmy. We have to finish what we started. And according to the ancient tome, Charity has to kill Miguel before we can lure her over to the dark side. Tend to make that happen tonight. <laughs> I don't know what could have happened. My mind's just playing tricks on me, I guess. What is it, Charity? Do you have another premonition? Kind of. Just another really weird feeling about Tabitha. I wouldn't pay any attention to those premonitions if I were you. Yeah, you're right, Kay. And I wish that I could forget them, but... I can't get over this premonition... that someone close to me is gonna die. It's gonna be all right. Come on. Get charity kill Miguel. Well, tonight I'm going to give a little tea party for the two turtle doves. <laughs> and I promise you, it's going to be a very interesting cup of tea that charity serves to her precious Miguel. <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> Poor Charity. She's gonna have to kill the boy she loves. <laughs> Maybe we have nothing to worry about. Maybe it'll only be one dinner. You can be such a fool, Julian. Sheridan is beautiful, wealthy, and vulnerable when it comes to men. She's always been desperate for love. If she would have fallen in love with Luis, she'd want to please him, help him, do whatever he wants. And what he wants is to look more closely at our past dealings with his family and bring us to our knees. But she believed us before when we said we had nothing to do with Martin Fitzgerald's disappearance. That will all go out the window if she falls in love. She'll only feel loyalty toward Luis. Love is dangerous, Julian. We must never let Sheridan Luis fall in love. Never.
You look beautiful. Mr. Hank Bennett here? Yeah, you're looking at him. Yeah. I got a delivery for you. From who? I don't know, but uh, this is for you. Thanks. Look, what part of no don't you understand? No, don't call me again, all right? I mean it, I'm finished with you, forever. All right, let's look at that ring off. Still isn't coming off. This is weird. Yes, I've never seen anything like this before. This ring won't come off. It's almost as if it were meant to be on Teresa's finger. 